All right, here we are at the end of our stay in the northern part of the Kruger. We're now going down southwards to the central area of the Kruger, to the camp Mopani. We just had a breakfast, which is quite a challenge because all the birds, monkeys and squirrels are looking at your plate and thinking, well, I'd like a bite of that as well. But we managed them to keep them off and had our breakfast for ourselves. <laughs> Well, we just have found a good spot for a tea break, but it started raining as soon as we poured in the tea. And we hoped for some animals to show up on the open plains on both sides of the car. But now it's raining and animals will probably be hiding. So we'll just have a tea and continue. The game viewing here in Kruger is not only about driving, because there are a few places where you can get out. I'm right now at the Shipandani height, and here you can get into a height and have a nice view over the river. So let me take you with me. Good morning, here we are at Mopani Rest Camp and as you can see it's a pretty wet start of the day. Early morning there was a big thunderstorm so everything is soaking wet right now. I think today might be hard to find some wild animals because there's so much water in the bush, they could be anywhere. That was not the case yesterday when we saw a big herd of elephants. There were about 50 of them coming down to the river for some drink and playing in the water. And later we even saw an even bigger herd of buffaloes this time. We counted up to 300 that just kept on coming more and more from the bush. And we also found a few jackals, uh, we found a cory bustard and there were lots of leopard tortoises on the way. We were planning to stay here for two nights at Mopani Rest Camp, but we cut it short to just one night and we go to Letava today for three nights instead of two. Uh, the reason because is there's a lot of beds in the house and not only our house but in the whole of the camp there's a big bed colon colony and they're just everywhere, there's poo everywhere and especially the smell that's really really bad. So we decided to go to reception and change rooms and then we'll head out of the camp today.
We started this drive with rain and as you can see it's now raining heavy again. Luckily in between it has been dry and we saw the first lion of this trip, something we were very excited about. But since the weather is so bad right now we're going to do our laundry and go out again tomorrow morning. Good morning. Again we woke up at 5.30 in the morning and it's now about 6 so time to get out of the gate. Uh, it's much better weather than yesterday because the sky is clear and I can see the orange sunrise already uh, between the trees. I can some, hear some hippos in the distance so let's see if we can find them as well on the way. Good morning, it's now 5.45, the gate opens in just 15 minutes from now. It's pretty dark as you can see behind me, but it will be light very very soon and then we hope for a very nice morning game drive with the sunrise. Um, I'm preparing myself some tea, but apparently we had a nightly visitor because our trash bin was thrown over. Luckily it didn't make a mess, so I'm just gonna put it down up and then we're going to head out into the park. We just arrived at Olivant's rest camp, we're halfway our game drive and the plan was to have breakfast here. We know that they have a lovely balcony with lovely views over the Olivant's river. So we're definitely going to check that out as well, spend some time there, watch through the binoculars and see if there's any wildlife around. Of course my wife's hoping for hippos as that's her favorite animal, hopefully we'll find them. So we've come at the end of our stay here at Lataba. It were a very pleasant three nights. And today we're going to Satara Rest Camp, that's 70 k's away, which if you drive directly should take about one and a half hour. But we hope to find some wildlife and take the time for that and then it will take approximately three to four hours. 
Last night we had a very nice uh, goodbye party here at Lataba. We heard a lion roaring in the distance and a Janet and a Sivet came walking just past the terrace at the back uh, you can see behind me. So time to go now. <laughs>